Before spiritual awakening, most of us focus primarily on our lower chakra, our lower three chakras. We feel secure and safe in our physical reality, even though it doesn't serve our highest good. But when we are spiritually awakened, there is a shift in terms of focus to our upper chakra. In this video, I'm going to share with you how this shift causes anxiety and why anxiety is actually a good sign for spiritual awakening. If you are struggling with anxiety right now, I will also share with you how you can reduce your anxiety and move through this dark night of the soul phrase. So recently in September to November, I'm experiencing some kind of emotional roller coaster. It's kind of crazy like I'm going a bit up and down in terms of emotion. And it feels like I'm going through my third spiritual awakening, uh, third dark night of the soul. And what I realized that anxiety comes again. And this anxiety is due to uh, twin flame separation. I didn't expect me to feel so unsafe and ungrounded. I thought that detachment will only bring about like grief and loss, heartbreak and depression. And there are some emotions that I have the skills in processing. But what surprises me is the lack of safety I feel. I didn't realize I depended a lot on my twin flame for safety and protection. Now that I choose to detach from him, I feel unsafe like how I felt in my past life regression when he wasn't there to protect me. This experience actually gave me a new perspective on spiritual awakening. It reminded me a lot of my first time when I was spiritually awakened in 2015. I had a panic attack and fear and anxiety had taken over me. So why does spiritual awakening cause us anxiety? Before spiritual awakening, most of us focus too much on our lower three chakras. We focus on the root chakra. We focus on survival, financial stability. We may hold on to jobs that we don't like just to feel secure. We may hold material possession and money out of fear. And we very focus on the physical needs and the material realm. For the second chakra, the chakra chakra, we may be too focused on having pleasure we receive from our five senses, like food, sex, entertainment, travel. And for the solar plexus chakra, we develop a sense of self based on our first two chakras. We feel in control and powerful with what we've established, and we take action and work towards our goals. During spiritual awakening, there is a huge shift in terms of energy. When the upper chakra are open and activated, there is a call towards the upper chakra. Because there is an imbalance in terms of energy, there's too much energy in our lower three chakras. And so there is a need to redistribute the energy to the upper chakra. Like for example, our heart chakra makes us feel more connected and compassionate to other people around us. And when the energy flows to our throat chakra, it helps us to express our truth more clearly instead of withholding them. And when the energy flows to our third chakra, we feel more in touch with our intuition and we become more sensitive to the energetic realm. And when it reaches our crown chakra, we feel oneness with source energy and everything else. And that is a very blissful feeling. Everything feels great. However, when we flow too much energy to our upper chakra, it causes a deficiency in our lower chakra. And this causes us to feel anxiety. Before spiritual awakening, we are very rooted in our physical reality. Even though it doesn't serve our highest good or it doesn't serve us all the time, at least it's stable. Spiritual awakening is like a tornado that unroots you from your previous reality. It turns your world upside down from the lower chakra focus perspective to the upper chakra focus perspective. Our root chakra governs our stability and support. It keeps us grounded. And when we are deficient in the root chakra, we lose touch with our physical reality. Nothing is very concrete. We neglect our finances and our physical needs. Our ego will start to panic and start to worry about survival. And that's where we feel a sense of anxiety and fear. When I had my first spiritual awakening nine years ago, it's rather nerve-wracking. I have no jobs. I don't know what I'm going to do to support myself. 
It's like I have been unrooted and I don't know what to do with my life anymore. We may also become fearful because we don't know what's happening around us. What we used to enjoy when we focus in our sacred chakra, the second chakra, we don't enjoy anymore. And how we used to define ourselves change. It's like there's a major overhaul to our solar plexus chakra. Even though anxiety makes us feel like we're going to die, it is actually a good sign for spiritual awakening. If we don't loosen out the excess energy that we have in our lower three chakras, this energy don't get to flow out to our upper chakras. I know how fearful this can be, but this is just a temporary experience so that you can access the upper chakra, especially the crown chakra, so that you can feel what is it like to connect with the world and oneness. It also helps us to have a taste of what the bliss consciousness perceive what our spiritual self perceive. It gives us an overall big picture. And having some kind of ego death helps you to give up what you have established previously and help you to tune in with this new found spiritual realm. Your anxiety, your dark night or so, simply tells you that you are getting closer to the spiritual realm. You are getting more connected with spirituality. Of course, eventually, if you want a more peaceful and meaningful experience on earth, you will have to re-establish your roots again. But this time around, it will be very different. You will carry the perspective and energy from the crown chakra into your root chakra. You have a better understanding of the role your root chakra play in your human experience. It's not just about survival and financial stability. It's about abundance. It's also about the connection with Mother Earth. It is about trusting the energy we receive from Mother Earth. Just like how plants and nature receive nutrients from the ground. When we are connected with the Earth and we feel more grounded, we actually feel the abundance and nurturing energy from the Earth. We feel like we are being supported. And that's where our anxiety will ease away. This kind of reminds me when I had my first spiritual awakening 9 years ago, I was just sitting in the park and my dark night of the soul, my anxiety and depression just melts away. So to reduce anxiety, we will need to take care of our physical needs, our finances, our body, and also reconnect with nature. When we become more spiritual, in other words, we are more connected with the crown chakra, we often make this mistake that this blissful feeling that we feel is where we should be. And we may attack the lower chakra or we may detest the lower chakra. But what we don't realize is that we just totally flip the script from one chakra to another. From being excessive to the lower chakra to being excessive to the upper chakra. However, the crown chakra is no better than the root chakra. Survival is just as important as connection with the universe. It's the imbalance and over-focus in one of the chakra that weakens our whole energetic field. When you have any chakra that is stuck or blocked or have resistance, that's where the discomfort comes. A more embodied kind of spirituality will be both drawing the energy from the earth and the energy from the cosmos. Integration is where you have to reroot into the ground. Just like the trees, the more deeply they are rooted into the ground, the higher they can grow. Integration is needed so that you can experience heaven on earth and be fully balanced as a human being. The root chakra is the foundation of our well-being. Our body provides a container for our energy and our spirit. So taking care of this container is important, not just for our physical health, but it's also important for our mental, emotion, and spiritual well-being because it serves as a foundation for all these three aspects. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy my playlist on spiritual awakening. Click here to find out more.